the Ford Mustang Dark Horse Rips. Yes, that's exactly what you want to hear if you are a long-time fan of Ford Mustang or muscle car in general. As Chevrolet kills the Camaro and Dodge downsizes and moves to electrification, the Mustang is the last remaining vestige of, of the good old American V8 pony car. And the Dark Horse is the pinnacle of what is what the S650 generation is capable of. Until a, a new Shelby arrives at least. So, let's check the quick specification of 2024 mustang dark horse engine is 5.0 liter v8 output is 500 horsepower and 0 to 60 mph in only 4.1 seconds weight is 3993 pounds its price is 59,000 to 68 thousand dollars but what is dark horse anyway we all have a deeper dive on what the new badge means for the mustang lineup as a whole but in the simplest sense, the Dark Horse is the most powerful naturally aspirated 5.0 liter V8 Mustang ever built and the most track focused version you can buy today. So, the 5 liter Coyote engine sends 500 horsepower at 418 pound feet to tow of torque to the rear wheels. You can choose from a slick 6 speed manual transmission or a 10 speed automatic. It it's takes just about 4 seconds for the cars to reach 60 miles per hour. So, that side does not feel a ferociously quick of the line or as something like BMW M2 or Nissan Z Nismo. Even if there is 0 to 60 times all or all smellier, that's mostly as a result of both of those cars having forced induction. And more low and grunt, high towards the rev limiter is where the dark horse does its best work. The V8 begs you to ring it out the 7500 rpm deadline with the torque peaking at 4900 rpm and max horsepower hitting 7250 rpm. The car is high reviving the yacht. Having already spent plenty of the time with the 6 speed dark house on the track, you can uh, see I was eager to see what the 10 speed automatic had to offer. While I am not typically someone who immediately poo poo sports, sports car just because it's an automatic, the Mustang needs a mutual. The 10-speed tens, uh, tens automatic is a quick and well-tuned and you can twist the drive mode dial to, to, to track for super snappy response. But the auto does not mesh well with the visceral nature of the V8. It feels disconnected. I want to uh, rip from 3rd to 4th with the rumble of that V8 under my left foot. Gearbox notwithstanding, the Dark Horse is easily the most agile Mustang since the last Shelby. Magne ride dampers remove the floatiness of the standard EcoBoost and GT models. It's still a big car, 3,993 pounds with an automatic, and it feels it and feels it. So, guys, this is a short review of the Mustang Dark Horse. So, guys, this is all this video.